Hello everyone and welcome back to the Elder Fairy Apothecary channel. Um, so for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, I do unboxings and pick a cards at the end of my video. If you are um, not following me on Instagram, definitely do so because it's more than just tarot. I also sell custom bath products. So let's get right into this. There's a few crystals right here for you, okay? So the first one, that's smoky quartz. This is an Ocos agate or agate. And this is an ocean jasper stone. Okay, so what I want you to do before we get into this unboxing is to just sit and think and pick a crystal. Okay, now while you're thinking about the crystals, I have the new deck that I'm going to unbox here. So this is a 52 card oracle deck um, called the Super Attractor. This is by Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, so there's a little bit, um, usually they come with QR codes now, which is really cool because you can scan it with your phone uh, to get a little bit more information about the author. So this is a positive affirmations deck. So that's a little bit newer to um, to me. I have already un, um, opened them a little bit. This is actually a gift. So, here we go. We are thrilled that you opened this deck. Well, me too. It is here to remind you that although, that, I'm sorry, through love, you can invite everything you need. So, right there gives you information about what type of deck this is. So, let's do a quick little breeze through. When I'm grateful for what I have, I can feel good along the way to what I desire. The artwork is really, really pretty. The cardstock is a little thin, but it's good. It feels like um, a regular deck of cards. I believe I'm worthy of feeling good. When I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. This is really super cute. Oh, I like this one. Direction, I'm sorry, directing my focus into what's thriving creates more of what I want. So true. So this is a really, really great deck to um, add a bit of positivity to a reading. I always finish off my um, readings with something like a positive message. Uh, this card, the color, it just, this is so heart chakra and it's my favorite color. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. Right When I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than control. True manifestations are powered by service and love. So I'm not going to read all of them. I'm going to do a quick little walk through here. I slow down and listen to the guidance that's available to me. Each time I choose to tune in to the spirit of guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. So as I said, this is a really good um, daily card pull. Um, if you do anything that's motivational, self-motivation, motivation for other people, um, I really like that each one is a little bit different. They do all have the same back here, um, which is really, really pretty. Um, spiritual alignment puts my manifestations into motion. So these are really, really good reminders. And honestly, the coloration kind of just gives the vibe. Um, so like purples are very calming. And this card is about worrying, right? Instead of worrying about the future, I know all is well when I'm aligned in the moment. So a nice little reminder is that, you know, we can't control the past and we can't control the future. We can just control us right now. When I'm in a state of appreciation, I'm in vibrational alignment. So this deck did not come with a guidebook. Um, obviously, there's a lot of verbiage in this. So um, this is going to come up to, obviously, what it says and your personal interpretation as well. Um, you know, you have these great little um, 
hints of imagery here. So this is, I see the moon, I see the sun, this could be an eclipse. Um, there's color magic in here. So, you know, you wanna definitely look at those. And this bird keeps popping up. I love it. Oh, a couple of black-based ones too. I am in awe. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a really cute deck. This is not going to be a long um, video here. It's a small deck. Um, so I have, this is your deck here. This is kind of a uh, basic tarot deck. And this here is about the size of an oracle deck all larger than my business card. Okay. So I'm gonna do a shuffle. Okay. So it shuffles well. It's easy. These are shuffled. I'm going to do a quick pull and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So before we get started, I wanted to show you I got a little sparkle going on today. So if you are not following me on Instagram at elder underscore fairy underscore apothecary, um, definitely check it out. I'm wearing my um, abundance wand. So this has a little bit of sparkle and the name of it is called fairy dust and it's an essential oil and herbal blend. Um, help to kind of help you release your um, things that are holding you back and blockages um, so that way you can reach your goals, reach abundance, um, be motivated. It's a um, earthy, citrusy kind of floral blend, um, but it's very soft. It's got a little bit of lemongrass in there as well, which is one of my personal favorites. So um, definitely visit and check it out. And if you don't have an Instagram, no worries. Um, my email will be linked below, so you can definitely just shoot me an email. All right, so pile number one. We've got your smoky quartz here. This is a very protective and grounding stone. So let's see what your message from Super Attractor is. Each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. So this is a reminder, sit, be calm, sit with yourself, find a spot where you're comfortable, um, whether it be outside, even in the shower, and just take a few breaths and try and calmly connect to you, yourself, whatever your spiritual path is for a little bit of guidance. All right, pile number two, we've got your Okos. So Okos is a really good for um, meditation. It's good for um, kind of calming. Um, and this one here, Okos normally is a brown. This having the white and the black swirls for me personally, it represents balance. So let's put that there. Okay. When I live and act from a place of spiritual alignment, I can trust that everything is working out for me, even if I don't know when or how it will happen. So it's all about taking and balancing your life and finding that sense of peace with everything as it is, opposed to wanting what it isn't. When we crave things that are, let's say, the grass is greener on the other side, um, we tend to have that energy that actually deflects it and, and pushes it away because it's an energetic desperation. So once you sit in your senses with that everything is is okay and you're aligned with just you and how you are, those things will start to kind of flow in and line up as long as you're allowing it to. Okay, pile number three, Ocean Jasper. So Ocean Jasper has a lot of meanings. This one here is a green stone, um, which is definitely a heart chakra stone. So it's, it's healing like emotions and heart. But for me, this one represents personal power. Um, a lot of us struggle with that. It doesn't matter male or female, however you identify. Um, there's always a sense of kind of personal power loss 
in the world that we live in today with all of these imagery and things that we're supposed to live up to according to somebody else's rules. This is about gaining personal power back. Okay, so your message is feeling good will bring me far more than whenever I thought I needed. So this really does coincide with Ocean Jasper, even down to the synchronicity of the colors. Um, so this here is, you're perfect, just the way you are. You're supposed to be how you are right now. Start feeling good about the positive aspects that you have instead of looking at the negatives. You know, some say the glass is half empty, some say it's half full, others tell you it's refillable. So it's all about your personal point of view and what you think of you is the what matters the most. So it's really important to feel good about yourself. And that doesn't mean go on diets or, you know, trends and things like that. You know, definitely get healthy and go for you know, making yourself feel good in a way, spiritually, physically, mentally, do those things that are, are bringing you to your best self, I guess. That's kind of a cheesy line to say, but it's true. Um, sometimes those cheesy one-liners, like, be your best self, are really important. Um, okay, so let's sit with these cards for a second. Take a screenshot if you'd like. If you want to, you can definitely, here, I'll move my hand out of the way. We can do this. And you can tag me in that. Um, I would love to hear from you down in the comments below which one you picked, pile one, pile two, pile three, or what you thought of this unboxing. All right, I think that's all I got. So until next time, talk to you later.